Hi guys, this is a quick video um, for an installation of CentOS. Uh, it's a flavor of Linux that I love and enjoy using and I've used it in uh, many of my videos so I thought I'd do a short installation, um, short video on the installation of CentOS so that um, uh, when you do, uh, when you see my future videos involving CentOS you guys know how to bring it to the default um, installation state that I use for most of my videos so uh, let's get started first step is um, to download CentOS so um, let's just go to download um, I usually use a 64-bit and the latest version and I usually download and I use uh, this um, ISO in most of my videos it's the minimal one so pick any meter and get the minimal one so um, right here it's about 400 megs so I'll start the download and I'll pause the video so once the downloads done I'll be back save next step after the download is done is to um, mount this ISO in a virtual machine um, and uh, starting the actual install so I'll get to that I'll bring up VMware workstation create a new virtual machine um, I usually choose custom uh, it gives me uh, the opportunity to review everything as I want it um, I'll choose VMware uh, workstation 10 that's the latest one provided by uh, VMware I will install the operating system later uh, it's Linux it is CentOS 64-bit virtual machine name I'll leave it at cent uh, CentOS 64-bit since I'm just showing you how guys how to do a basic installation of CentOS next um, I give it all my cores usually speeds things up you don't need uh, more than 1024 for a basic installation I'll leave it at that bridge networking bridge networking provides um, um, my virtual machine access to my real network um, so I'll do that leave the rest at defaults create a new virtual disk depending on how much you need um, you can uh, assign it since I'm just doing a really basic installation here I'll just assign it uh, 4 gigs and I'll uh, store virtual disk as a single file uh, it improves with the performance of the virtual machine customize hardware over here I can assign uh, an ISO that it's uh, my virtual machine is going to boot up with and I'm gonna go to where I saved that ISO that I just downloaded so this is where the ISO that you we just downloaded assign it here so when you start up your computer it's gonna boot up using this ISO start up not your computer but your virtual machine um, USB controller don't need it I'm gonna remove it don't need the sound card I'll remove it don't need a printer I'll remove it and because we can always add these things back on if you need them uh, this is just like I said a basic basic installation um, let's get to it everything is done finish power on this virtual machine install or upgrade an existing system it's definitely an install disk found to begin testing the media before installation press ok since um, I know that this disk is good I've used it um, for other installations of CentOS I'll skip this media test this is usually for burnt CDs ISOs you can usually skip it next English next US English keyboard type next basic storage device next yes discard any data since I have nothing stored on my virtual disk that I have created during the uh, setup of this uh, virtual machine um, host name whatever you want to give I'll give um, first CentOS install I'll configure in the network over here um, edit IPv4 automatic DHCP is fine um, I'd like to use my uh, own DNS servers I prefer Google so I'm gonna put them in here and then um, next thing is IPv6 settings um, since I have set up IPv6 uh, in my network I'm going to be using automatic it's gonna pick up everything 
uh, using um, Slack, which is a stateless uh, auto configuration, address auto configuration, and connect automatically, which means uh, basically start up my networking um, network card during the boot up. Everything is good. Close, save, waiting for network manager to activate these devices, which is my Ethernet card. Next, um, use choose Toronto since I live close to it. Next root password, uh, whatever you guys want to assign it over here. Next, use all space. I'll uh, leave the partition layout and partition management to the installation process. So I'll just do use all space. If you guys have any custom requirements, you can uh, use these uh, other ones that they have here. But so like I said, since this is just a basic install, we'll use use all space. Right, changes to disk, which finalizes everything. and I think it's starting the install process there. So I'll pause the video again and I'll come back once it's almost done. Once the installation has uh, gone through successfully, you are presented with the screens. Congratulations, your CentOS installation is complete. So we'll just reboot the system now and uh, it should boot up into an installation of CentOS. Now you see this um, blue line Extending at the bottom, I usually don't like it. I hit escape, shows me exactly what's going on in the back, and I will show you um, during uh, once the installation, um, not the installation, but um, at the end of this video, also a way how to make sure that on every boot up, instead of that blue line at the bottom, you actually see what's being shown on the screen. So I'll boot up, uh, I'll log in. First thing that I do after login is uh, make sure that uh, everything is to its latest version and that's what this command does and you see I haven't set up networking or anything that I already did during the installation and it's uh, already made sure that uh, everything is uh, everything is uh, connected so if I ping yahoo.ca it goes through but something went on yum dash y install update maybe instead of upgrade I need to type in update so let's try that no package error nothing to do okay so I think um, this uh, ISO that I downloaded has already has the latest uh, updates next step is I install um, WIM that's uh, my um, go to tool for inst uh, for um, editing text files or any other file um, that I need to uh, on the Linux system. The dash Y that I put on on every command usually means that at this procedure, uh, at this point in the installation, it does not ask me that yes, go ahead with the install or not. So there, everything goes smoothly from here without it uh, intervening or stopping to ask me the question yes do I want to go ahead with the install or not next I install wget wget basically allows me to download files using the HTTP protocol um, directly uh, using the console so I'll again install this time I won't put in dash y and uh, you'll see that it's going to prompt me yes do I want to go ahead with the installation of uh, wget and see is this okay right here and if I had put let me just do a no and over here if I just do dash y and you'll see enter didn't even ask it went through with the installation that's exactly that's why I use uh, the dash y um, usually when I am typing in um, a yum installation it is something that I for sure wants to install so that's what uh, that's why I put in the dash uh, dash y one thing I realized um, is I think I may have been entering the command wrong um, when I was trying to uh, do the upgrade initially. Let's um, quickly check. I was typing in yum-y install upgrade. I think it's just yum-y upgrade, not install. So let's uh, quickly check install update, install upgrade. It shouldn't be install upgrade it's just upgrade and see if it goes to there we go so this is uh, going to upgrade all the packages on my CentOS installation 
uh, to the latest version. It's uh, almost akin to uh, the Windows update. After the installation, when you do Windows update, it uh, updates all those services and um, services basically that are running on your computer. Same thing with um, services and tools that are provided by Windows. Same thing with CentOS. Uh, it's updating and upgrading uh, all the services and tools that are provided by the default installation of uh, CentOS. So I'll uh, pause the video. No, I'll just let it run through. I'll probably uh, speed this up in uh, in my video editing software if need be. So that's it. Um, the upgrade command has been run and um, wget has been installed and uh, vim has been installed. Usually these are all the three basic commands that I use um, to um, set up my uh, installation of CentOS to the way I like it. Uh, I'm going to quickly reboot and um, again I'm going to show you um, that blue line that comes here at the bottom of the of the screen when uh, CentOS is loading up and how to remove that blue line see right now you see this um, I don't want it just showing this I actually want to see the services if I hit escape it's actually going to see me what's going uh, show me what's going on in the background and uh, I'm going to now show you which file that means modification I think it's grub whim etc grub.conf where you have this um, this file uh, this entry that needs to be modified and um, there rh gb quiet right here so before i modify the grub.conf and um, uh, make any change that might kill my um, booting up process of uh, centos i'll make a backup of this file so uh, i'll quit and i'll do uh, copy um, grub.conf to grub.conf.back so that was just uh, copy everything inside uh, grub.conf and move it not move it but copy it over to another file called grub.conf.back hit enter and then I'll actually edit it let's uh, go over to title hidden menu hidden menu there are two of them there so you know what let's first modify one I wonder why there are two entries, but uh, I'm going to modify this one. R H G B quiet. So I'm going to modify this R H G B quiet. Escape, right quit, reboot, and let's see what happens this time around. And if it still shows it, um, there's uh, the second entry in grub.conf. I'll just modify that. There we go. Perfect. So that was it. The first entry. And you can actually see it show everything being loaded up. Link becomes ready. Perfect. So that's it guys. Thanks for watching my video. And uh, if you'd like my videos, please uh, do hit uh, subscribe and uh, like this video. Thanks guys. Bye.